I don't like it. I just don't like it. I mean, what does that solve? The M the fucking USF isn't that much better against massed MG34s either. Yes, it's a little better, but I feel like what if people just choose the Kupel Doctrine all the time? Then you're back to square one. What did that solve? Nothing. So don't like don't like that suggestion that much. You have to actually tweak the units themselves, not just where they are. I would give them back the munitions penalty. That's a pretty good one. I think uh, I think having like unlimited munitions allows them to get a shitload of Shreks and throw grenades all the time, and being able to throw grenades is a really like serious thing, especially for like harassing rifles versus folks. If the rifles aren't paying attention, you can throw a grenade that wins you the engagement, and that'll like win you map control. So having all those munitions to spare definitely is a big deal. Give the Kubel the Sturmtiger rocket. That's a good suggestion. That will definitely help. Or give Kubel fuel cost. I like that suggestion. That's a good one. But at the same time, just because it's got a fuel cost doesn't mean that suddenly USF are going to be able to beat it. It just means you won't be able to spam it. But one Kubel wagon is still a problem, so that's not enough. you got to do something else. Beamer 8. Not going to flood the chat about that. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Instead of having Kubel get massive HP slash suppression buff, buff its received accuracy modifier and lower its health slash suppression. Kubel should stop suppressing and just be a light jeep. There's no other way that it could be balanced versus the Soviets and USF. I disagree. I think if you just make it act more like an MG, I mean, it ha you, you have to have some suppression. You can't have a doctrine that has no suppression except for the flag half track and like the doctrinal MG34. They have to have early game suppression, so that's not changing. The fact is they need they need it. Steady up, fellas. Point out. We're moving to secure a position. So I don't like that suggestion, honey nuts. I feel like you just have to make it act more like an MG. It has to have a really long setup time. It shouldn't do any suppression on the move. And if flanked, it should be punished somehow. Maybe it should have a, a tear down time too, like the flak half track used to. It was a bad idea on the flak half track because that's around the time of the game that they have AT guns. There's no AT guns on the field when you're making a Kubel wagon, so I feel like that's a weakness that they could work around. I don't know though. I think that would need to be tested a little bit if they implemented something like that. Give everyone a, a nuclear bomb, but Romeo. <laughs> Basically, just add a button to the game where if you get too frustrated, you're just like, fuck this shit, and you click it, and it's like, boom, victory! <laughs> but not Romeo. Not Romeo. Fuck Romeo. Alright, I can't read any more suggestions or comment on them because the game has started, so... We'll mull that over a little bit. We'll think about those things. Food for thought. I don't know what should be done, I'm just, I don't know what the best solution is. I can find problems with solutions that you guys uh, are suggesting, because I've heard these, so I've heard these, I've heard these suggestions before, so I like, I've thought about them, and I know why, like, they probably wouldn't work. But I don't, yeah, I don't know what the best solution is, other than to turn it into like a flag half track, basically. <laughs> Like, turn it into what the flak half track used to be, I feel like would make it enough of like an MG like unit. I don't know though. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm convinced that's the best solution either. It's the best thing I can think of. There it is. That's what you get for blobbing, Romeo. Look at that blob. Look at you blobbing around. Knew it. Knew that would happen. See, it was rotating and I got suppressed. I even talked to Brad about that. I was like, it clearly still suppresses even when the symbol isn't floating above it. And he was like, no, that never happens. 
That's like impossible. That should never happen. Uh, well, yes, it does happen. It happens all the time. It's really annoying. I don't like it. Oh, that's a dead rifleman squad. Unless screening troops arrive just in time. Nope. Fuck you, Romeo. Fuck you. Look at this sick flank. Look at it. But this cool was gonna be fine because it's on a road. Whatever. Suppress me on the move. No big deal. It didn't stop for one fucking second of that shit. Oh, and he decided to, you know, show up with another unit. So I guess I lose this engagement. Ah. Take that crap. Cut that infantry. Move your ass. Go. Move your ass. Go. Listen. Run. Move it. Fixed the game. Go. 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 My fault because I didn't get a lieutenant eight fuel ago. I fucked up. Is my teammate really this bad? Come on, man. Help me out here. Do something. Do anything. Why is this happening? You couldn't keep him sufficiently occupied that a four unit blob shows up and forces me away? Huh. <sighs> You couldn't capture a point farther away from your base than this. His name is Jake2100. What were you expecting, Romeo? Seriously. <laughs> what? What were your expectations? Seriously. What did you think was going to happen? He was just going to win the game for you? Come on. You got to earn that win. You got to work for it. Nobody's going to hand that shit to you. Jake2100 certainly isn't going to. What, you want to be number one? You think you're good enough to be number one? Bitch, please. You chose the wrong goddamn faction. What are the odds that they will run around this fence? Not very good. <laughs> Shit. Uh. They'll make it home. They'll be fine. There's only like a massive army waiting for them. This is impossible, I think. There is definitely nothing I can do against this. There's a Shrek on the field, too. Sweet. What is he doing? <laughs> oh my god. The irony is, the people we're matched against are as bad as this person. Like, the matchmaking system was like, okay, I'm gonna choose somebody of equally bad skill and put him on the enemy team, and Romeo should have no problem with him because he'll be bad. It's not like he'll be able to shut down everything Romeo tries to do just by building a Kuba wagon. That's... That's just ridiculous. The matchmaking system isn't aware of game balance. It's not like... There's no, it's, as far as the matchmaking system is concerned, it's like, there's no way the Relic Balance devs would break the game so badly <laughs> that Romeo wouldn't be able to handle this. There's a flat half track right there. As soon as my M20 hits the field. Oh yeah, it's GG now, baby. Let's, let's make some magic. Let's make it happen. Ooh, nice mine. Nice mine. All right, we're moving. Let's go. It might get hot. Keep pushing forward. I don't know. I guess I can not do anything. Google wagon is charging my utility car. That is a lot of enemy troops. Like seriously, that is a lot of enemy troops. It's <sighs> even worth the effort, probably not. He's gonna die any second now. Now around the corner. Nope, didn't get away. Lieutenant's dead. Good, he's a manpower sink anyway. Pointless unit. 
Get those paratroopers going. Did you guys see that sick push? I took out a Kuba wagon. Yes! The comeback is gonna begin. Let's get going. It's not too late to win this. We still have the strategic point to the right side of our base, and that's the point that matters most. That's all we need to stay in this game. All right. Oh no, don't freeze now. I need you not to freeze so I can take out this, oh shit, Panzer Shrek. Well, that shuts down this plan. Oh, and a <laughs> All right, all right. I'm gonna have to revise the plan a little bit, but everything's gonna be okay. Meanwhile, it's like several times worse than if he had just dropped at the beginning of the game. I really wish I had an AI right now. That's okay. It's okay. I just gotta Let's keep my cool. <laughs> just stay level headed. You're gonna come back and win this, Romeo. Keep that lead man in sight. You just gotta. L2P. That's like terrible flag half trick, or flag Bring HQ forward. placement. Better stop the clock. Orders, boys. Follow me. Hey, man, stand by. Open up. Yes, shoot the fence. Thank you. Is that a looks? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't have a solution to that. Not for like 200 more fuel, <laughs> roughly. <laughs> I guess I'll drop another one. Have rifle grenades. Plant an M20 mine. Do you think you'll be arrogant enough to just like cruise right along the road here? No, he wouldn't be that. Well, here comes the double team. I guess I'm screwed. Oh, AT gun cleared, because I'm a noob and I didn't crew it with full health tree. Oh god! <laughs> Shit! No! Okay, Shrek shot missed. The situation is back under control. Although I did give them an AT gun, so that sucks. <laughs> If only my teammate had, you know, supported me. I realized the engagement was pretty far away, so <laughs> I guess he couldn't make it there in time. <laughs> he was like, shit, I'm not in supporting range, I can't get there in time, sorry Romeo. Fortunately, he's bringing the mortar half track up to support. And I think if he hits that mine, I'm gonna laugh my fucking ass off. Oh damn! Chase, Chase. All stations, all stations. If the Germans just cut off our supply lines. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> I'm gonna crew this with paras so it'll be super durable. Here's a fun trivia question for people who know stats and shit. Do paras have more HP or anything than riflemen? I don't think they do. In fact, sometimes I feel like they have less. When they're vetted, of course, they're like gods, but... Until then, I'm not so sure. 
Let's go. All in, troops. troops. Ready for it. We go. Okay, let's pack it up, ladies. We're moving out. We're getting two. What should I make? I don't know. I have 11 munitions coming in, so I'm definitely in a position to spam grenades. Oh yeah, that was effective. Now he'll have to retreat for sure. Well, what are you doing? Not that. Taking so much damage. Oh. Oh my goodness. Why did they tease me like this? <laughs> Before decrewing my AT gun. Damn, I really wish that I had kept my first AT gun. Then I'd really be making strides. That's what's really tough. Even if you do manage to kill the, they're like awesome vehicles, and it doesn't matter which vehicle it is. Puma will fuck you over. Looks will fuck you over. Even Flak Track is pretty hard to deal with. So whatever it is, even if you do manage to kill it, you still have to punch through the giant blob of folks grenadiers afterwards, which is not that easy, especially when they have those um, those super grenades. Oh, that's why he didn't steal my AT gun. He salvaged it. Good play. Very smart. Very nice. <sighs> you know what to do, gang. Go, go, go! Snap to it, gang. These opponents are just too good. They're too good for me. Their skills unmatched. Truly I was not ready. For this level of competition. Find cover. Find cover, God damn it. I want to watch the replay and see how much resources he's floating because I don't think he's lost a single squad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's just chilling. <laughs> like, come on, Jake. Work with me here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I really hope Jake at the end of this is like my teammate fucking sucked. <laughs> that would put the icing on the cake, I think. Oh sweet, they dropped their bazooka. Now I'll win. Oh yeah, baby, get that vet going. This is exactly why I don't know what people are talking about when they say that 2v2 random is bullshit and they just get retarded teammates all the time. I get good teammates every game. My teammates are always pulling their weight. If I don't lose, or if I don't win, it's my fault. Take some responsibility, people. See? It's my fault that Panther's getting away. Nobody else's. There's nothing, Jake. Oh shit, look at this awesome push! Look at this push! <laughs> Holy shit! That was a sick push! I think Jake's finally gonna bring us back into this game! That's it, that's that's it! I'm getting carried. Relying on my teammates, as usual. I just wiped a squad. How that's even possible is beyond me. But it happened. Oh, I can bring a major in. It's actually been that long with seven fuel coming in. Make sure you're squared away. All right, boys. I'm just gonna keep blobbing towards them until the game is over. Do -do. If I voted to surrender, do you think Jake would vote yes? 
Something tells me he'd be like, no. We can win this. Let's just stick it out. That is one cocky looks. Like, really? Oh, nice. He's going for the, uh... Going for the arty on my base. One-shotted, yeah. Fuck you, Romeo. Fuck your AT gun. Get one-shotted. Ah! He probably has like 6,000 munitions right now. This Artie's probably gonna last like... Oh, I guess it's got nerfed and it's not very good anymore. Okay. Well, this was a fair game. I definitely had a fair shot at victory. All in all, I'd say I learned a lot. What? We're losing, but we hold this point. Isn't that the only thing that matters? My pro teammate Jake seems to think so, so I just assumed. Are you going to tell me that we needed to hold more than more of the map than just that? Because I call bullshit all over that. All, all over that. Charge! They're pinned! Now's our chance to strike! There's also a Stuka firing on the base, so I assume it's not a very safe place to be right now. Alright, now our retreat. Because it matters. Unit preservation matters, Romeo. You better keep those squads alive. It will drastically affect the outcome of the game. Like, how would you be able to entertain yourself with a attempt at a rifle grenade on that panther if you lost all your squads? Yeah! See, you got engine damage. Nice. That's totally going to bump up your damage dealt stat at the end, and you'll feel even better about yourself. All right, here come the stat numbers. Here come the stat numbers. Let's see who carried who. I'm pretty sure Jake2100 did a lot better than me because I got my ass kicked that whole game. <laughs> He's going to have the higher KD. That's for sure.